anyway, it's Boxing Day here. It is December the 26th and I am still not well. But look, look, we're wearing little Christmas owls. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got for Christmas. What we're going to start with is what I bought myself, which is a new tattoo, which I've mentioned previously. It's not happening till the 30th of January, but it's all, <coughs> it's all booked in and the deposit's paid for and the design is worked out and it will be, finally be my nightmare for Christmas tattoo. Yeah. But yes, what I got for Christmas. My internet for Christmas was a big pile of cold hard cash. <laughs> this is normally what happens. There's rarely specific things I want. I'll just say, give me a pile of cash. And then I get lots of other things. So yes, this year we've got a small pile of cash, which most of it is probably going to go into the bank. <laughs> This is a bit of a thing, see? This is what I got from one of my friends. Ooh, the thing fell out of it. This. This is a magnetic needle case. This is so pretty, look at this. And it's by Lantern Moon. They make very, very nice things, but yes. And this is a really good idea for a needle case for things that pull out. It came with this huge vodka needle, which these are really useful. These are really useful for, yeah. Really useful for things that are really, really useful for sewers. That's all the stuff I got from my stocking. It's like a big pin thing. It's, it's all wire on the top. And it's all wire and it's shiny. It's a huge silk scarf. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Look. It's so colourful and it's really long. It's. Oh, this is. <laughs> I'm holding both at both ends of both my hands, and this is how long it is. It's huge, but it's really pretty. It's my snow globe. It's a reindeer. Reindeer the snow globe. Woohoo! I have a ballerina hippo, and this should make you. It's for your train, and this should. And you say ballerina hippos, I think Pantasia. <laughs> this was kind of wrapped up, but yeah. This is a beading kit. Well, it's not a kit, it's a pattern. Thing, which that's not, no, that's not too difficult for me. Some people are gonna look at it and go, Oh my god, that's so hard! No, I've done a lot of beading like that before. Something that came in an IKEA snap bag. Put the front out to show you. Look, look. Yes, I got a book binding kit. Yay! I've got lots of bits in it so you can put it to it. Oh. So cool, and this is the kind of this is the kind of thing I get for Christmas. I get random crap kits. Yes, for Christmas, of course. Always get a pair of the world's most comfortable socks. Yes, jewels. These are so 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 comfy. They're so fluffy, and even when they've been even when they've been washed a few times, they're still so comfy. They're still so fluffy. And they're amazing, and oh, not a lot of people aren't going to know what this is, but yeah, I got a double, I, I got a double set. And this one goes, what's the new set? New set is a type, it's, it's, it's an old fashioned kind of braiding tool. And it, okay, ignore the sloth at the top, that's a single new set. And you can put things around it and you make braid. And these two, it's a double new set. I know it looks like a, um, a melon juicer. <laughs> Hang on, melon juicer. I know. Yeah, it looks like a lemon juicer. <laughs> but no, it's a, it's a braiding. It's a braiding tool. And yes, you can come with thread and instructions. I'm going to have to have a play with this. Bla braiding on a single is so easy. It's just like wrap, pull, wrap, pull, wrap, pull. But I'm going to have to have a play with this, even though it's. It's basically a novelty braid. <laughs> now in our house we do individual Christmas crackers. We have these big cloth ones that are reusable. And everyone gets something nice in them. And I got pink satin gloves. Yes. You always need lots and lots of accessories. <laughs> right, I'll move on to the stuff that I got from my brother and his girlfriend. I can't have any of this because of the antibiotics. But yeah. That's a big thing in me from my brother's girlfriend. Right, now my my brother always gets always gets me awesome stuff. 
Yes, we both collect and store fountain pens, so this year I'm going to have one. It's a Koeko. It's a mini Koeko. It's teeny teeny tiny. It is. Check this out. That is a Koeko Skyline in a limited edition colour. My brother showed me this and, and went, look, Koeko are making ridiculous small purple pens. Do you want one of them? And I went, ooh, yes! <laughs> we do also have a little clip with it, which I haven't put on with it yet. I haven't played with it yet. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to ink it up. But possibly not in the inks he got me. Yeah. Yep. We got Garmin Sparkling sh Shiny Ink. He also got me the... Is it it's a Kaweco cartridge hole. Oh, things in it if I turn the knob. And... Oh look, a cartridge. Oh look, there's another one. Oh look, cartridges. Cartridges. Always need to carry backups. Ridiculous fine liner. In I watering pink. Give you this mod army ink. In multi size cartridges. Yay! I do have some cartridge pens. I've got. Last year's last year's Christmas present was the was a, a, a pilot metropolitan, which takes normal cartridges. That takes normal cartridges. I've got several others that take normal cartridges. So yeah, you can have some fun with these. Anyway, that was my Christmas haul. I know it's not as exciting as some people's, but then, but then it is for me because I mean, shiny ink and mead and a really book binding kit. Kind of stuff, stuff I get. I get weird craft kits. I get weird craft kits. Which I know other people wouldn't want weird craft kits. Um, so other, pe other people would look at a book binding kit and get ill. No. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you now. And get back to doing my stuff. I don't know. I might look. I, I might look up some bad Christmas horror films. <sighs> Yeah. I thought that or I could just watch Die Hard again. Yeah, watch Hans Gruber being thrown off the building. Yeah. <laughs>